Hello guys, really quickly I wanna uh, help my students just to recall the PHP. My assumption as I said is that they know PHP but I just wanna make sure that um, the general concepts are absolutely clear. So PHP is a script language, is a language from the syntaxis group of the C languages. Um, let me let me zoom in and after that move it a little bit down because I noticed that in the previous record uh, previous movie actually Mis because the aspect ratio probably or the resolution is different it wasn't very well seen so here we go so hello world set on PHP uh, we start uh, writing HTML code as usual if we know HTML and at one moment we just uh, start with um, angle bracket question mark PHP and we can use the uh, functions of the PHP uh, in line in the HTML code so this is how we can use it and uh, the file should be called PHP and the extension on the file should be PHP so the interpreter will know Apache will know how to interpret this file and send it to the PHP interpreter okay every statement uh, finishes with uh, semicolon variables how we create the uh, identifiers of the variables the names of the um, variables so a to z a to z capital 0 to 9 and underscore don't start with the number this is the only restriction it's a loosely typed language which means that it doesn't have type to the variables each variable can uh, can accept any type for example you can start uh, with initializing my var with uh, integer which is 3 and after that you can change it to string I have to say that the first uh, the first value which is assigned determines actually the the type of the variable but after that of course it changes it could be a could be a source of eventual errors I cannot think of anything right now but it could be so that's it about the variables the types which the variables can take are number float integer boolean true false and string so here it is two different ways to assign a, a to assign a string to a variable with uh, quotation marks, double quotation mark and single quotation marks. Single quotation mark actually is easier for the interpreter because it's not looking inside of the string just accepts it like, like it is. Uh, with double quotation mark actually the interpreter looks for a variable which could be eventually inside of the string and replace it uh, with its value functions in this language we create the functions with the help of the uh, word function the name of the function after that the parameters which accept arguments and that's it how we call it we call it like that with the name of the function and sending the arguments this is about the functions PHP arrays. This is the Swiss uh, Army knife for the PHP. That's why probably it's uh, so likable. That's why the people like so much uh, PHP because of the arrays. Here it is. How you can create a, an array. If you assign directly A, B, C the the keys will be assigned automatically so this is gonna become 0 index 0 this is gonna become index 1 and the indexes start always from 0 another way to define an array is uh, with this pointing A connecting A to 1 B to 2 this is how it looks 
I set already the PHPs from the syntax group of the C languages so that's why uh, we open the body of the of the function with the curly brackets also um, conditional operators the block of the program is uh, is uh, actually starts with the curly brackets and stops with the curly brackets operators I didn't even uh, copy off all of the operators we can go to the link here in the W3 school this is a very very good source for for PHP and other languages actually addition subtraction multiplication division module negation I'm not gonna uh, discuss all of them I think they're clear enough so let's go back the, this is about the operators statements if if else switch so let's look at if this is a conditional log logic how we can create if uh, conditional logic if condition code to be executed like any other formal language if condition code to be executed else switch this is how the switch works this is uh, the syntax case label 1 label 2 and default if nothing of uh, the above is executed will be executed default while loop here it is how it looks keyword while condition code to be executed do while always executes at least once so this is one example snippet do i plus plus while i less than one is gonna be executed only once because it's gonna become one after the first pass for for loop initialize the loop condition increment code execution it's very very simple I want to emphasize uh, the importance of these two variables those are super global variables they should be here actually listed here but because they're very important I just put it them separately so this is how it works when something gets sent to the PHP script you can find the values here depending on the method of the um, uh, HTTP hypertext transfer protocol which is used you can find the values in get or in post before I remember the time when uh, directly you can access directly the variables by their names but uh, that's absolutely insecure so that's why uh, these two arrays has been introduced so here it is how it looks the URL for example and we are sending by uh, by method get the name Peter and age 37 and this is how you get it in the PHP code okay so constants this is how you define a constant my constant and you assign the, the value 56 actually I didn't finish this snippet so let me do it immediately in front of you come up that's really quick I don't even feel that I have to uh, have a separate lecture for that but I just want to make sure that everybody is clear what we're doing here and everybody knows at least the basics of the PHP so here it is echo my constant notice that there is no dollar sign up front of the constant name okay so I wanna mention some of the magical constants here you can find all of them I put it, um, a link to uh, php.net actually here we don't have a uh, link to php.net but probably I should put one so those are some of the magic constants this way you can find the um, path to the file the directory 
of the file, the method in which we are, and the class. Some predefined constants, directory separator and path separator. For example, on Unix is a forward slash, on uh, Microsoft is a backward slash. Some predefined super global variables. In this, um, I had to include get and post as well. And some of the some of the more interesting are server, where you can find a lot of information about uh, the server and the method uh, and other useful stuff. And cookie. This is actually a server technology. The cookie is saved on the user computer and gets sent. Uh, to the server in the header of the request. So this is how you access it in the PHP code. And this is how you set it when you want to set a cookie for a certain domain. Session. This is another interesting uh, super global variable. This is a snippet of code which you can use in this snippet of code what is done is this we start the session if is set session counter then we increment the counter else if uh, the counter wasn't initialized we set the counter to 1 of course not 11 let me correct this save That was a very, very brief introduction to PHP. As I said, I don't even uh, think that it should be in a separate lection, but uh, I just wanted to make sure that uh, I attract your attention to the most important aspects in the language. So, uh, that said, I just want to add something else. Uh, I just want to tell you that in PHP, actually, you also can, uh, can hint the types in the functions for example let me let me show you the functions okay so here I can say for example integer or if this uh, if this was a object but let's talk about that later in the next uh, in the next lesson so that's it about the PHP script language and uh, how it works on the page it's very easy it's very simple and with the race uh, it's uh, very flexible and powerful at the same time thank you for your attention see you next time bye for now